Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are heading away from the Chobe National Park and on to the Delta. Uh, we're going right into the middle of the Okavango Delta so it's hopefully going to be really exciting. Uh, more safari time and more chances to get those perfect pictures. So uh, there's my plane over there. Let's go jump on. When it comes to travelling, one of my favourite things to do are the small charter flights in and out of locations. They give an impressive overview of any landscape that you're visiting, but also the photographic opportunities are just incredible. I couldn't bring a drone with me to Botswana, so this was a really nice chance to get some aerial shots, some really nice images, and for me, being able to work with my DSLR camera is always better than the images that you get out of the, even the most modern of drones. So whilst I'm in the aircraft, um, I already have everything ketted up. The D5 was around my neck with a 70-200, ready to shoot some aerial landscapes, uh, to pick out some details in the environment for those pattern pictures, but also just for those more expansive views. Uh, when I'm working from the aircraft, I make sure that I'm using a fast shutter speed. Something around the two thousandths of a uh, second shutter speed works well. And using the high frame rate of the D5 means that for every composition I take multiple images just to make sure that I'm absolutely going to nail the shot and freeze it against the vibrations that you're moving around in the plane. Make sure your lens never bumps the glass because that's going to add additional vibrations. But as I flew over towards the Delta, it gave me some great chances to get some images to add to the portfolio for that sense of scale, that sense of location. And to me, they're some of the favorite shots that I came back from the trip. So welcome to our first morning on the Okavango Delta and uh, we're just getting ready to head out in the Jeep, just had some breakfast and now we're going to head out and hopefully track some lions. Um, the great thing about here is we can move a little bit more, go off road um, and so fingers crossed we'll catch up with them. We're going to get cracking and see if we can find some good wildlife. So we've been driving along for like 20 minutes and we've just found a couple of hyenas so we're going to pop in. Uh, you know, already we're going off road here in the Delta that means we can get a lot closer and they are in gorgeous sunlight so I've got to stop this and take some pictures. So the sun is just perfect and the hyena is probably maybe 5-10 metres away and uh, we've just pulled up alongside it, driven off road and it's given us a perfect opportunity to get a few really lovely portraits. Um, as we drove along, Max jumped off the front and in because, you know, that profile above the uh, horizon, the hyena could see, um, they're a little bit more wary. So now we're all in the vehicle, uh, things are a lot calmer and uh, this one's kind of a, a sub-adult juvenile. Um, he's just sat down, laying in the grass, really calm, that's fantastic. Uh, I've got a few portraits that I'm really, really happy with and uh, considering we've been literally going for about 20 minutes it's amazing uh, to get a wildlife encounter like this and here's a really gorgeous animal you know hyenas everyone thinks they're kind of scavengers but they hunt as well they're just beautiful creatures and to spend you know 20 minutes half hour sitting here and watching this guy in some beautiful light well there's not a lot more you could ask for as a start to the day oh he's just getting up so i'm gonna get a few more pictures
right, I'm sorry for the very crude video setup, but as you can gather with the cool box and everything else like that, I'm laying down in the back of our safari jeep uh, to try and get some lower angle shots. Um, and my subject, well, is some beautiful lions. We've got a male and female um, who are breeding at the moment, and they're just about four or five meters the other side of the car. Um, so I'm laying down here. Setup is uncomfortable, but for wildlife photography, that's how it goes sometimes, you know, you've got a, got a no pain, no game. Yeah, so then I've got my two cameras set up. I've got the, um, oh, they're all kind of getting stuck together. But I got the D850 on the 300mm, um, and that's what I'm using for my kind of headshots and stuff like that. And then I've got the 70 to 200 on the D5, um, and that's really for some wider shots, some landscape shots, and also so I can pull back a bit, because if they have some interaction together, you know, they decide that they want to couple up or anything like that, I can pull back and get that wider shot. Um, for me, on this trip, I am kind of more interested in those portraits. I got a really nice uh, distance shot as we were coming in of the male just set up in between the foliage, and hopefully that's going to come out really nice. But at the moment where he sat, He's in shadow, um, that means that I've got some detail on his face because the sun is slowly getting higher, but also the sun is right on his mane, kind of lighting up. So it's giving some really nice chances for photography, um, but I'm gonna keep at it because these two are just gorgeous. We'll probably be here for a good hour or so and just watch the sighting develop. Uh, and that's the nice thing about this place is that, you know, we've been here for 20 minutes, half hour, um, there's two lines here, there's about four over there, and there's only three vehicles, that's all that's allowed here. Um, and everyone's just slowly taking their time and moving through. And of course, not everyone's a photographer, so they come, they have a little look, but we're just waiting our time out, spending time with some gorgeous wildlife, and uh, hopefully we'll get some really, really nice shots. So I'm gonna get to it, because my arm is going dead numb trying to hold you and film as well. Um, and anyway, I don't wanna miss the opportunity to get these shots. Conditions are still uh, reasonably comfortable. Um, I've definitely been in worse, but uh, I've got my cameras ready to go. And it's so useful having two cameras here to swap between, like when he stands up, the 300 is basically filling the frame. So the 270 to 200 gives me a bit more scope uh, for interaction, but uh, it's really nice. I'll probably s swap one out for the 35 mil a bit and see if I can get some wide stuff. But I am hoping that at some point I can use my gap that's behind me there to get an even lower angle on my subject um, and that'd be really cool I tried to get some earlier with the hyenas that we saw but uh, they kept kind of moving off but the low gaps we've got one on this side in the front and one on that side in the back that's given me a chance to get even lower um, you know for those nice blurred foregrounds and backgrounds but uh, yeah I think by the end of the next three days I'm gonna have quite a few bruises but hopefully I have quite a few good pictures as well um, for the portfolio but right time to get back to it so this morning we've been out with the lions uh, we had a really nice opportunity to photograph them a uh, whole group here multiple females and males there's one male breeding with a female that we managed to get really nice and close to uh, putting the land cruiser in so we could get some uh, f kind of frame filling portraits that's really quite nice but then the males, uh, the other males were circling around the outside, trying to get their chance to uh, breed with the female. Uh, so we followed one of those around for some more kind of in the environment shots. Uh, one came past us with the 35 mil. I managed to get a more kind of classic in the landscape shot that was really quite nice. Um, but you know, the whole morning has been a great chance to get a portfolio of lion shots and then also that luck with those hyenas. Pretty much as soon as we left camp, it's been perfect. But now that the light is really starting to get harsh, uh, we're gonna head back and then uh, hopefully pick up some stuff on the way in and then get out this evening for hopefully some wild dog. Uh, so fingers crossed, that should be great and uh, we're gonna crack on home.
So this afternoon we're back on the game drive and we're heading out but we're looking for Wild Dog is our intentions. Uh, camera's rigged up, I've got the 35 around my shoulder. Um, sun's still a little bright so uh, we'll probably wait a little bit before we start taking some pictures but we've got quite a drive to get to where we're going. Um, but uh, fingers crossed the dogs around the den where the guys have been tracking them for the last you know, few weeks now and uh, hopefully we'll get a few shots and uh, that would be a wicked end to the first day here, first full day on the Okavango. Man, what an incredible place. So tonight was all about wild dog and uh, well behind me there are eight wild dog puppies that is absolutely you know we went out this morning for lion and that was just incredible this, this afternoon for me anyway just blows it away we've had the puppies just running around um, just playing with each other you know one of them grabbed a stick together and stuff like that they've been kind of swatting flies out the air all sorts of stuff like that and it's just been amazing and we've been here only one other jeep has turned up for a little quick look um, but literally we've been here for two hours by ourselves with the uh, puppies playing around and we've just heard that the parents might be on their way back so it could be a good chance to get some interactions they come in the lights got a bit low now um, I didn't record a video earlier because you know got here and was just focused wanted to get some shots I was using the um, 300 2.8 on the 850 um, just to get those close-in shots the really nice headshots and stuff like that the puppies you know they're really small so they're still quite small in the frame just trying to get those little portraits but now I've switched over to the D5 and the 7200, the new FL version. This thing is just incredible. It focuses so fast. You know, as the puppies are all running around and playing with each other, this thing just pff, locks it, no worries. And then of course the D5, I can push the ISO. So, you know, as much as the sun's gone down, I can still push for another half hour or so and still get pictures. It's fantastic. See this little guy, he's just wandering right up the front. Just amazing. Um, I'm using the cutout of the Jeep as my location to shoot from, laying down again, you know, putting myself in those uncomfortable positions. But if you get the shot, that's all worth it. But this puppy's just sitting here, so I'm going to get back to shooting. <laughs> So we're saying goodbye to the uh, the young wild dogs now. Uh, the parents didn't make their way back. We saw um, some kind of commotion off in the distance that um, we were told was them hunting some buffalo, but uh, they haven't come back through yet. And as the lights pretty much gone, it's pretty much you know dark enough that we're not going to get any good shots. We're going to leave them and let the parents come back and you know feed them and stuff. Just incredible to see. <sighs> such an amazing group of animals just all the puppies just interacting was phenomenal I've got quite a few pictures that I'm pretty happy with you know I'll probably only end up using two or three um, on my website or whatever but that experience will live with me forever and I will probably think about that quite often as one of the best days uh, I've had in a long time that was that was amazing you know now we're heading off for some drinks but with um, had lions in the morning, uh, we've had a load of other stuff as well. But to finish the day with wild dog, I mean that, that is a pretty perfect day of wildlife photography. And it's only day one of two that I've got here on the Delta. So tomorrow, if you join me again in the uh, next video, hopefully we'll have some more wildlife. 
but I'm gonna head off, grab a drink, download and back up some pictures and uh, hopefully you'll join me in the next one. But until then guys, get out, get shooting and uh, for more wildlife photography videos, please subscribe to the channel, it's down there and uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.